I'm Susan Aiken. I'm the leader of Glasgow City Council, and it's my privilege to join you today as part of the Climate Change Dialogues. The honour and the responsibility of hosting COP26 has thrust Glasgow to the forefront of many global conversations on the climate emergency. Five years after the Paris Agreement ratified the role of cities and regions in multilateral climate action, we now recognise and accept that cities are where the race to net zero will be won. Our international family of peer cities is committed to finding common cause, to share our challenges and experiences as we reinforce our commitment to a safer and fairer future. The voices of cities must and will be heard in Glasgow in 2021. As we look towards the fifth anniversary of the Paris Agreement, it was a huge affirmation of all of our efforts to hear the first US Special Envoy on Climate, John Kerry, in his first speech in the role, look forward to the ambition and progress we must commit to in my home city next November. But climate action is more than just targets. It must be about people relevant to their lives and life chances, particularly in a city like Glasgow that still lives with the social and physical legacies of our industrial past. Glasgow is fully committed to the roadmap set out by the local governments and municipal authorities constituency for a multi-level action COP26 in 2021. I want it to go further though, and I've proposed that climate justice and social equity be adopted as a central theme. Climate justice and social justice is the Glasgow message, and I'm delighted that that's being considered for adoption. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak today, and I hope that I can welcome many of you to Glasgow next year to help reset our planetary future on a safer and a fairer course.